I'm going to show you how I'm using the Neem Max. This is stronger than the regular neem oil. It's neem oil to the max, baby. When you're dealing with squash vine border, you need every weapon to fight back these bugs. One of the most deadliest bugs to your garden is the squash vine borders. And they come between, they come mid June to the ending of July, which is the peak time in New York here to grow most of your plant, especially they will target plant like squash, zucchini, pumpkin and even your cucumber plants they'll attack too now neem oil it does not work 100 percent to kill everything but it helps it helps a lot i've been dealing with squash bugs for a couple of years now and i've been using neem oil for a couple of years and it helped me a lot in the past and i'm going to show you exactly where the squash vine borders lay their eggs if you see a squash vine borders in your garden and she's hanging out on the leaf she already lay some eggs and come couple come within the next couple of days that larva will be inside of your main stem eating your plant out really fast like it's a buffet eggs are a little red dot it's a little red egg or if you can't even see the eggs use your get your neem oil and just spray it all over try not to spray your fruit just spray it right there where they lay and right here from the, the leaf, the main area here, this is what they lay to. And you gotta also check underneath the leaf. Sometimes the eggs are underneath, especially squash bugs. Squash bugs too, they'll be underneath. Check underneath your leaves. If you see any eggs, or even you, you don't wanna take a chance, just spray underneath your leaf a little bit. It's not a problem. Even sometimes they'll drop their egg on the floor. You wanna spray that a little bit. So right here, see? Hi Grace. So I used to grow all my squash and zucchini plant, running on the ground, never prune them. And one day I walked in and I see all my leaves are dying. And I see my plants are dying, my leaves are turning yellow, and my plant is literally dying. And I'm like, what is going on? Then when I moved all the plant inside because it was so crowded, that's when I'm seeing it. So by growing vertically for me, this works amazing because I get to see it right away. And if I see any little dust coming from the main stem and I see the little hole, I know they're right there. So all I do is take my pruner and get them out right there and save it. My pumpkin plant, what I did, I came after I saw one of them, I came and I pruned off this leaf. I want this spot to be open so I could see underneath, I could see any dust. And then I told you, check underneath your leaves if you see anything. If not, spray your whole, spray them whole main stem. Don't spray your fruit or any female flower that's gonna open. All right, just spray around it like that. And that's it. You want to do this at least two, three times a week. Neem Oil Max, I think I paid like $20 for this and it's really easy and nice to use. Check in the description box, I'll leave the link so you could get your hand on this and it's organic. Now I used to volunteer for animal shelters. I used to, re I rescue all my animals and I, I love insects. My kids love bugs and insects, but I don't like the squash vine border because they literally took out four to six of my plants every year this year i'm gonna stay i'm gonna come every single day and try to keep up and i'm gonna show you guys progress and what i'm doing and keep you guys up now i'm gonna keep you up to date to what i'm doing and how it's going so thank you so much for watching you have any question comment below i dealt with squash vine borders before and trust me they don't die that easily you literally have to spray and manually remove sometimes spray 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 you could also mix soap with water and spray if you don't want to use the neem oil. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better home garden together. Please like and subscribe. It's 100% free by clicking the red subscribe button. And stop <laughs> my daughter's battery, sorry. So I'm gonna show you her right there. Yep, ah, stop. So thank you so much for watching. And then thank you for everyone. I know I always said this, today, but I gotta tell you, I'm so appreciative I am as a creator. I appreciate everybody, positive feedback, positive comment, and everybody who's sharing their knowledge. You know, sometimes I give you my way and sometimes you're, a, you know, you're an amazing gardener and you have your way. And it's amazing that you're sharing it. Sometimes a lot of other gardeners, a lot of people just come and see that comment and they, they love that information. You know, every little thing that helps everyone, you know, makes the world a better place, right? And uh, good luck to everybody who has the squash vine border to myself. I'm afraid. No, I'm not afraid. I'm literally sitting on the ground, hanging out. That's my garden back there. And you can see my daughter's just putting, like, grass and stuff on me. Yeah, that's...
When you have kids, you guys know when you have kids, this is what you deal with. 